Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This week I am bringing you a chatty get ready with me, nothing too serious. I'm going to show you how to get this entire look using some new products, you know, just, just the good old, just the good old makeup tutorials, like the good old days. If you guys would like to see how I created this look, then please stay tuned. Ow. Uh, ah. I'm so dead. Uh. Hello. We're going to do our makeup. Dropa woke me up so early today. Time to fix his face. So, to answer any questions, I do have a onesie on. My house is freezing, okay? Apparently, summer ends on Sunday. Summer ended a long time ago for me. It's absolutely freezing here. So, first thing we're going to do is prep our base. I'm going to use my Kypris Heliotropic Sunscreen. This is my favourite thing ever. I need another one already. It is a bit pricey, but I have noticed that my skin is being... Really, really good when I've been using this and also it's protecting me from sun exposure which is a bit of a joke because I don't have any sun exposure. Oh, once we've done that, we're going to go in with my new favourite product of all time. This is the Neode Photography Fluid Opacity 12%. This one here. It's 20 quid of Cult Beauty. The only thing I would say is it gets a little bit messy, but that's probably my fault. But wait till you see this. I'm just going to put five drops in the back of my hand. Oh, honestly, if you like your skin to look healthy and beautiful, this is the one. I've got all my friends wanting it. It keeps on selling out. The last time I checked, I went on and I bought two more. They had some left, but keep an eye out. To address this situation, it was a mix between a wedding accident and a boxing accident, okay? So this is getting fixed today. That is why I'm getting ready, because I am leaving my house. I'm going to get my nails done at NAF. If you watch the weekly vlogs, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't, it's okay. Now I'm just going to pat my Kiehl's Daily Reviving Concentrate. You guys know that I absolutely love this stuff. I'd ran out there for a little while, but I got a no-no one. And I'm just going to pat that on. And that is such healthy skin. Even if I'm not doing any makeup one day, I will always do those three steps. Okay, foundation. I'm going to use the NYX Total Control Drops when I was getting all my makeup out. So actually, I've got it laying out in front of me today. You know, I just thought it would be a little bit more prepared. Is that the right word? Prepared. I'm just going to drop this on my face, just like the Instagram girls. Right, this does quite a lot of coverage, so you don't actually need that much of it. We'll see what this looks like. It looks like it might be a little bit light. And I'm going to beauty blend that in today. Ah, oh, that's fine. This foundation is £14, right? And it's not that big, you only get 13 mils of it, but it's amazing, it's so great and you only need like, I don't know how many drops I had there, but that's for full coverage. If you don't use as much coverage as me, you won't use that much of it. Highly recommend at least trying it out. Oh man, you know it's bad when your arm starts getting tired. Ugh. So, if you guys watch the vlogs then you'll know exactly what I've been up to, but if you don't, um, I've been home for a little while now. I've had a lot of um, videos going out that were for work recently um, and by that I mean that they were sponsored. It's just the way that the kind of time and fell and I've been super busy so it's been really difficult to sit down and film but here we are. I'm going to use my sh shirt. <laughs> I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape in medium underneath my eyes. Hide these bags. Yeah, so we've just kind of started doing a little bit to the house. We moved in here um, at the end of May, I think. So it's been it's been like five months, and we've not really done much yet. But we're starting we're starting to do some stuff to the house, just getting it prepared for a wee a wee small renovation. I don't use as much shape tape underneath my eyes these days, actually. Okay, I'm blending that in. Um, and one of the reasons I'm so tired is I was watching Harry Potter 
and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. We all know what happens at the end of Deathly Hallows Part 1. Honestly, even though it's a film and I know that it was filmed ages ago and there's nothing that's going to change, every time I watch it, I just really hope that when that idiot throws the knife and it goes through the porthole, I just wish that it didn't go through. And every time I'm like, oh, maybe it won't go through this time. It's a film and obviously it's gone through because it's a film and it was filmed ages ago. I think that's what you call hope. I feel like I'm going to wear quite a lot of makeup today. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I know what palette I'm using because I'm quite excited about it because it's a super affordable palette. I know that quite a lot of makeup artists watch my videos so I thought it would be, if I was still a makeup artist, this would be going in my kit for sure because it's really nice. I'm just preparing my eyeballs with Tarte Shape Tape as well. I've ran out of Lane Low Paint Pot and I really need to pick up another one but I have not been shopping in the longest time. But the shape tape works good. See what I mean though? I think that photography stuff, photography fluid, really helps. It says it's an advanced colourless priming fluid that uses next generation nanoprismatic particles to reflect light and balance out undesirable hues. Contains technologies to make skin appear better, specifically in photographs. I'll be wearing that on my wedding day. I swear. I think that looks good. So I'm going to powder down little parts of my face with the Fenty Beauty Universal Powder. This stuff's great. I've got a couple of little blemishy blemishes on my head. I'm just going to powder under my eyes and then over my eyes. So yeah, after I watched Harry Potter, um, I was awake quite a while just thinking about how it could have been, you know? It didn't have to be like that. J.K. Rowling did not have to do that to Dobby. It was just barbaric. Now I'm going to bronze my face. I'm going to use my NARS Laguna bronzer. It's been ages and I've just been going through my makeup recently and trying to tidy up slash like can I get old stuff out that I've not been using for a while. So I want to use my Laguna bronzer with my Smith 118 brush. I'm going to just start bronzing up my face. <coughs> oh, it's bronze up my little head. Oh, that's looking good already. I really like the colour of Laguna. Oh my god, I cannot wait to look normal. I'm going to just use the same big brush just to get a little bit of bronzer down the sides of my nose. See, when it's winter, I hate using too many powders on my skin because I just start looking like a cakey monster. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to shoot off camera and do my eyebrows and then when I get back, we will do our peepers. <laughs> Brows. I've started doing them a little bit darker just because my root is so grown out. It kind of matches. It looks kind of crazy just now, but you'll see it all pieced together. Um, the eyeshadow palette I'm going to use is the... I'm going to take this off so you can properly see it. But it is the Morphe 25A palette. And I got this through the post from Beauty Bay. And when I checked the price, it said £19. Which I think is really, really good for a palette of this size. And it's called Copper Spice, which reminds me of Christmas, which means that I'm going to probably be using it quite a lot. I have a real lack of brushes at the moment because they all got stolen. I'm just going to go in with one of my iconic London brushes and this peachy shade, the lightest shade in the palette, and we're going to just buff that all over. I'll zoom you in. Okay, I think that'll be fine. Yeah, I don't want to scare you. So I'm going to go in with that peachy shade and I'm just going to buff that all over the lid, make sure everything's nice and matte. Swap my brush over for one that's a little bit more tailored to the crease. This is my Smith 232 brush and I'm going to go in with that shade. So just here and we're just going to start building up that crease. So if you didn't see the vlogs, basically if you don't know me and Jack weekly vlog um, which means we film our week and then we edit it and put it up every single Sunday at four o'clock or thereabouts. And one week I went to Marrakesh, I went to Morocco with YSL. It was absolutely amazing, but Gatwick managed to lose my suitcase. So for the three days slash two days we were in Morocco, my suitcase was just sitting in Gatwick Airport. They finally found it two hours before we came home and they said the contents of the bag, which included my makeup bags and stuff, and then by the time I got to Gatwick Airport, 
someone had taken my makeup and all my brushes out from my suitcase. So someone stole it and they're cutting about wearing all my makeup, which is pish. Not happy about it at all. So yeah, that's what happened. I lost a lot of makeup. I have I have had to write a list of what was lost because British Airways. I got in touch with them and they said that they'll give me 50% of the value of what was stolen. There is also one of my Gucci belts was stolen as well, which really sucks. So yeah, that's what happened. So I've actually been piecing together my little kit again because if you imagine I was away on a trip, I took all my favourite stuff, so all my favourite stuff got nicked. So I'm just kind of building it back up. Some companies, I didn't tag any companies or get in touch with anyone asking for stuff, but some of my companies that I work with quite a lot got in touch straight away and were like, oh, can we help? Can we send you anything? Which was really, really nice. That's just the one colour. You can see it's super pigmented. Oh my God, I can't believe I said that. Uh, I'm going to go in with this ready shade, obviously, and then I think I'll probably go in with this really deep brown. And then obviously we have to use one of the shimmers when we're, when we're doing this. But I'm going to try and make it super dramatic so it looks a little bit different than my usual. I build it up in the outer corner mostly, but I always kind of bring it in to my inner corner because, and I've said this before, it sounds a bit stupid, but that makes, I think it makes me look super moody. Like it may, I don't know, it makes my eyes look a bit more intense, so I just like it. Especially when you use a warm colour to do that. So I'm just going over it all with that ready colour. It's warming it all up very nicely. Copper Spice, that's such a good name. I think I'm going to start blending underneath my eye now. So I'm going to go in with the smaller Smith brush, which is 230, and I'm going to buff that same colour, the ready colour, underneath my eye. I just think that palette's good colours. So I'm going to go in with this colour just here, and I'm just going to go in the outer corner. It's nice, I don't think it's building up as much as I want it to, so I might just leave that now and go in with the black. So like that's like my day to day eyeshadow look and I'll just stick a big lash on and be done with it. But I'm going to go in and I'm going to do some liner. Yeah, I'm going to do some liner. So this is the LA Splash Art Architect Slim Eyeliner Waterproof. I just got a new one of these through because it exploded on a plane ages ago but I actually really like this liner and I checked on Beauty Bay and it's like £11 which is quite affordable and it comes in a nice component and stuff, it's like a nice metal rose gold but it is really good, it's got the same brush tip as the Kat Von D as well so I do actually just really like it. Actually I'm going to go in with one of the sparklier shadows first. What one, what one? I'm going to go in with this proper copper one right here. So I'm going to get a little flat brush. So I've got my all-nighter spray. I've got a little flat brush from Diego de la Palma. Diego de la Palma. A lot of product comes up, which is good. Give it a little ch -ch. And I'm just going to apply that. Okay, yeah, that is good. Wow. I'm just kind of patting it to blend it into the shadow a little bit more. Good, right, let's do our liner now. So I think I'm just gonna do my wings and I'm gonna do them quite high up. Oh wow. Okay, so the liner's not really going on to the coppery shadow very well, so I maybe would have actually done that first, but it'll be okay because I'm putting lashes on. Now I'm going to take my little Smith brush again and I'm going to go in with the black shadow in the palette. There, I'll use the Smith 253 brush in the black shadow. And this is one of my favourite steps for a smoky eye, it just makes it look much more put together. My eyeshadow is actually quite good, the black one. And now I've applied it, I'm going to go in with the fluffier brush and blend it in. I'm just going in with the ready shadow and the fluffier brush just to move that black around a little bit. I'm going to just use a tiny bit of that black under my eye in the outer corner. I'm going to do my lashes. 
and see what we're looking like. The lashes I picked up, I got this So Sue Me. These are the Glam Lash Collection and she did them for Primark. So I was in Primark getting my onesie, keeping warm. And they're only a fiver and they look great. So they've got the little So Sue written on it. Then you've got your lashes, so let's try these out. I think I'm going to trim from the inside because I don't really want to lose too much of the length of these. So I'm going to glue them up with my usual glue, my duo. Leave them to dry. I'm going to stick on my Benefit Roller Lash. I've been using this all the time lately. really like it. I always feel a bit silly when I've got a really heavy eye makeup on and no mascara. I always think mascara makes it look so much better. While I'm waiting for my lashes to dry, I'm going to go in with that nice ready colour one more time just to try and lift out any ashy parts. I think that's what's happened when I use the black all over. Yeah, that's better. Let's see what these lashes look like. Well, they were definitely not dry yet. The band's a little bit stiffer than I thought it would be. So and I didn't I didn't bend it, so you need to give it a wee bend first before you put it on your eye. There we go. They are really nice. They definitely look more synthetic when they're on the eye, but they're nice. Right, I'll give this one a bend. Yeah, like that one went on much easier. They are amazing for pre-mark lashes, man, that's crazy. One thing I will say, this one is spikier than this one. Obviously, because they are so cheap, these kind of things happen. But it's not, it's not over, it's not that noticeable. Okay, time for face. We've done our eyes. Now I'm going to highlight my face using the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. This is like the gelato, gelato highlighter and I've been really liking this actually. Isn't that so nice? And I'm just using, this is my favourite brush for highlighting, it's the 134 Luxe Powder Fusion Brush from Zoeva. So nice. And then I'm going to use a little eyeshadow brush just to do my nose. And then I actually need to do my brow bone. And once I highlight my brow bone, I always just give it a little blend with my fluffy brush to make sure there's no crazy harsh lines. I'm going to add a little bit more bronzer now that the rest of my face is all done. Bringing it slightly onto the cheeks a little bit more. We're getting there. All we have to do is now our lips. So I'm going to use, I'm going to do a kind of glossy lip today. Because I'm crazy. So first of all, I'm going to do a nude lip, right? Let's just get that out of the way. And I'm going to use my Liar Lip Pencil by Urban Decay, my favourite nude lip pencil of all time. I'm going to line our lips. And then the lipstick I'm going to use is the... Be Legendary Lipstick by Smashbox in the shade Nerve. This is a matte nude. Nice colour, right? I'm just going to pop this on. Oh, it's super light, like myth. But that's fine. That's crazy light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to really pat it back. Don't know about this. Now. <clears throat> Just gonna pat it back a bit like that. Like even that looks much better. Mmm, that's nice. Right, we're gonna use Charlotte Tilbury Nude Kate. That's much better. This lipstick is crazy. It's going in the gift to somebody else pile. I usually like Smashbox lipsticks as well, but that one is just a crazy colour. Okay, and then I'm gonna go on top with Dose of Colours lip gloss in Undressed. This is really beautiful. Really like this colour. I'm going to use my little Tartiest Pro Glow to Go and this shade Chisel here is a really good contour colour so I'm going to use that just to get a little contour on. Right okay I'm going to go 
and fix my hair and get changed into real grown up clothes and I'll be back to sign off. I'm ready to take on the day. So you guys, I hope you like this get ready with me. I try to use some like new products and just have a chat with you guys but I really don't know how successful I was. See when I'm not filmed for a while I get really like, <sighs> I get scared, I get real scared. Please do let me know down below what you would like to see from me from now on. Is there any other kind of types of videos that you would like to see? Do you want me to just start? giving you them good old makeup tutorials, you know, just let me know. As always, everything that I use will be linked down below. And apart from that, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Minus one nail.